you've probably been to rock festivals, art festivals, movie festivals, but have you ever been to a sports festival? Virgin Sport aims to bring health and fitness to the global masses by launching four festivals of sport in the UK and US in 2017. Think of it as a mix between a marathon and Coachella. Joining us now to discuss is the CEO of Virgin Sport, Mary Wittenberg. Welcome, Mary. Great to have you here. Thanks so much. So tell us more about what you have planned for Virgin Sport. Will there be something for everyone, or is this just for hardcore athletes? No, this is for everybody. The idea is we really want to help people get over the hurdles that stop them from being their best selves. And most everybody we know, if you really think about it in your life, people want to get healthy, they want to get fit. We just, you know, it was just January 1st, everyone had all these resolutions, but there are a lot of things obstacles that stop people and we want to help them get over it, those Absolutely. obstacles. So we start by bringing them all out together to have a lot of fun in a festival environment where they can go after challenges. So give us some of the examples of the sports related activities you can sign up for in one of these festivals. So the idea, so we love run, mm -hmm. cycle and fitness, you know, increasingly in the U.S., both in the, across the United States in cities like London and around the world, we're seeing more and more of a move to general fitness. You know, yeah. I think people, obviously we know a lot more about how we should eat, how we should exercise, and core fitness has become more and more important to the athletes. So whether you're a triathlete or a marathoner, now you realize you can't just do that. You've got to do, you've got to do core fitness. And to the first time exerciser, it's gonna be a lot less intimidating to go to a yoga class, a high intensity class, can really deliver a lot of value. So the idea is bring all the activities together. So there will be yoga, running, uh, high intensity high boot camp. Boot camp, yeah. exciting. Now, will there be other things such as music, food, and art as well? Yes, the whole idea is to create happenings that people just have to be part of. And it's very much taking the virgin together with sport right. and making it really, if you think about the most fun you've ever had while taking on big challenges. That's the idea. So food, fashion, art, music over time. Yes. But the idea would be to just grow and really always at every turn bring out local culture so that you really want to go work out and you want to get a taste of the local culture and and have fun. That sounds great. Now, this is the latest initiative of Sir Richard Branson's yeah. Global Virgin Group, correct? Was this his idea? Does he is he a sports nut? He's a sports nut. I'll tell you where Richard r represents this company and effort in his everyday life. He is constantly taking on adventure, mm -hmm. going after challenge, giving things a go, and at the same time wrapping it in this just spirit of of fun mm -hmm. and, and enjoying life. And in the end, we're trying to do that through sport. And if we can get to where people actually have that as part of them every day, sure. then we will have really succeeded. Absolutely. And we know, of course, he's also the consummate businessman. So the eye is on the bottom line here. How lucrative are these festivals expected to be? Well, over time, the idea is to create a really valuable community and company. You know, we're not, one of the things Richard one of the many things he does really well, it's never about tomorrow, it's about really the long run. I mean, right. today and tomorrow, it's about over time. So, you know, as over time we'll grow, we'll hope to have these festivals across the United States, across the UK, across other areas of the world. And the number one thing we're worried about right now is can we deliver amazing value to people, really help them get moving, and if we do that, the, the business will follow. And where are the opening cities here in the U.S.? How can people get tickets? So we're going to start in San Francisco, October 15th. Extremely excited. So around about April 1st, we'll open on our website at virgensport.com. In the meantime, it's a good time with the FX rates. Jump over to London and join us for one of the three events. That's there. so great. And what? How much does a ticket cost? So in the UK, we'll start at about forty-eight pounds okay. for the for the distance run mm -hmm. in the boot camp. About what it is in a studio, right. about th twenty-five pounds. So right. And we know how much you love running. Running is in your background, having been here the head of the New York Marathon and the Road Runners Club. Do you still run? As I much? do. Yeah. I kind of have the best of both worlds. I run with the New York Road Runners all the time mm -hmm. in their events. And, you know, one of our philosophies was run for life. And that really came from belief that it's about more than running. And now I get to take the variety of sports and the spirit of community based fitness on the road. So I feel fortunate. Mary Wittenberg, thanks so much for being with us and good luck on this fun new venture. Thanks so much.